Hi YouTube, this is Neville here. So, what is that? We are gonna look at this 3D builder of Windows 10. Why I'm doing a video again on this or this updated video because I'm getting a lot of views for that video, and that's a similar doubt that a lot of you have. So, we're gonna look at the 3D builder app in Windows 10. It looks like this. Uh, so, just click on I'm just clicking on that app. This is 3D builder app of Windows 10. So we can take up uh, we can take up this thing so for the first demonstration so these are the parts blue and yellow parts uh, similarly so yellow part and the blue part so this thing button is used to close this thing and also to bring it up and this navy blue colors are shown it's also like a blue just Putting the mouse on this also shows us the image like a blueprint. So here's the print button. You can print the 3D objects and make your 3D own figures using a good printer. And this thing is also use 3D perspective if you're having a 3D dominating screen. And coming to this, this is having a lot of functions. So let's start on with this. This is as the name suggests move or if you click on that that is already selected you can note this thing that that is to move the thing or the screen away and this small things are to move the things away and to close and that's that and the next one is rotator just click on that you can rotate the thing so I'm rotating it, rotating it like this you can rather do that so that's all and this button I'm showing it now because it's undo button you can undo your what you have done <coughs> and this is the scalar so you can measure the distance between your thing and you can make it bigger so I'll show you from top that will be better so I'm just making it bigger see that's that's it how we make that thing bigger so that is the use of scale uh, and this thing is redo and that is not having any important right now right now and this thing is a file so when you open up this file you can save it right here you can add objects add a piece so just click on that you can if you want to add a let's of course add a train so yeah here's a train engine open that stuff you're having a train engine directly closer to it that is add button and this is new scene so you can make a new scene and add an object and this is about the model you get an information about the model you can update it and all that here you are having report a problem button you can report problems about 3d builder and here is the settings open up that to have the settings wireframe so that looks ugly that is nice so just turn that off shadows on everything is on <coughs> that was really nice and that's all about this file button and this is object mode object mode we are having group you can group items together so that won't be nice so just deleted that then you're having center view and making that selected object view in center rise or if I am having the train selected we can to make that center look both together and this thing is a subtle option that I'll show you later let's start with this this is duplicate you can duplicate one, other, one item to make it double or triple and then so I'm selecting this I can duplicate it so that's that used for and this is the delete button you can delete the thing off from the screen or the settler then this is a function called as settle so you should look properly that's an awesome function I found in 3D Builder. Click that and just click it so it goes like in 3D and it's falling down. See, like having gravity in the computer. That is really wonderful and congratulations to Microsoft Windows for producing this kind of app. So, see, like I throw the object it's gonna oh my god it's falling somewhere there so I cannot see that so I'm just undoing it so just throw it see you can see what I'm doing right now when it falls 
it falls like having real gravity in the ground then let's look on this thing so just click on this select another right um, to move let's do that well going both is going together ta-ta oh that was also really nice if you click the tick mark they both will be right there so undo make it back and here we have the uh, edit button edit button as I showed you in the previous a video of course the same functions of that right here you can add text delete text and all that similar functions if you want to know more on that just look on the previous video and if you have to save or discard go back and you're having a print button you so I suppose just click on that to print pictures this is a gift box in two levels so we just need to select and make a 3d box so I'll show you it faster so when we do on that just need to move this thing on top of this well it goes through that and, and, and I don't know what happened and so we don't need this stuff right now how will we arrange this and that's not easy duplication is not needed so we'll go to move the stuff need to move the stuff and then we are having rotate so we can just rotate this stuff wow nice now what we have to do is move the stuff again just move that to there then move that down then move that a bit there down. so you can see the box is completely ready now so we need to move that thing right there so what I'm gonna do is unclick this move this thing up come on sweetie come to papa so this thing is in nice so I just need to arrange it a bit okay now it looks nice then this thing go there come here between these lines doom 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 and down yep see you are ready with your gift box and everything was nice now you have your gift box ready and this is all about 3d builder and i think you all enjoyed please don't dislike if you have any problem this is Ask Your Question signing off. If you like the theme, I got it from the Microsoft official site. And so, thanks for watching my video. And a lot of you are watching my videos but didn't, aren't subscribing them. And I don't know why the reason. Subscribing is a free process by YouTube. You can subscribe if you're having a Google account. Just sign in and click the subscribe button. You don't have to pay for it. That is free, of course. And please do subscribe. Thank you.